welcome to our beauty, lifestyle, and fashion show. Ashake, Brema, and Omale among headliners for Promised Land Festival. Drake spotted at Thames show in Toronto. Selena Gomez reveals she can't carry children due to medical issues. Max celebrates Aaliyah with new beauty collection. And Taylor Swift rocks reformation dress and under 100 sunglasses at US Open with Travis Kels. On to our trending segment. Nigerian superstars Rama Ashake and Omale have all made the lineup of stars set to headline the 2024 edition of the Promised Land Festival. Rama is billed to perform on the second day alongside Georgia Smith, Miguel, and Fiji. And Ashake and Omale will perform on the closing date alongside Busta Rhymes. Other Nigerian stars that will be gracing the Promised Land stage are music band composers, SARS, Shea Vibes, Shali Poppy, Tiwa Savage, Big Tony, Ruger and Benson. Nigerian stars are not the only Africans on the festival line as Black Sheriff, King Promise, DB and Kogo, Major Leagues DJs, Young Stunner and Uncle Waffles will also be performing. So guys, I'm so excited that Nigerian artists are actually making ways and paving the way for us out there and we're so proud of them because it's just so so great that Ashake, like Ashake just came and took over Benson, Omale, Shali Poppy, like these are all our Nigerian stars and I'm so excited that they're able to showcase their talent so gratefully you guys. I'm so proud of all Nigerian artists doing so, such big things. <laughs> On to our spotted segment, Canadian superstar Drake was spotted at the Toronto leg of Nigerian singer Thames Born in the Wild tour at Toronto. Videos emerged online showing that the moment the camera flashed to Drake sitting in a VIP section during Naomi Sharon's set. The rapper was seen nodding to the performance. During her set, headline attempts revealed that she defiled a cold to be at the show. I have a cold, but we're gonna dance this cold away. She announced to fans that she went to deliver an electrifying performance of songs from her debut album, Born in the Wild, as well as her previous projects. You guys, Tams is making waves, and for somebody so, so big as Drake to be sitting in the audience, not, not like Tams has gone far, you guys. Well, I mean, what else could she do? She's really literally paved the way for us here in Nigeria, us artists in Nigeria, upcoming artists in Nigeria, female artists in Nigeria, because you know it's been so hard for female artists to actually grow and become something. And I'm so excited that the likes of Drake, big stars, coming to her show and nodding and supporting her, you guys. Kudos to Tams. Tams, good job, girl. I see you doing big, big things. And on to our editorial segments. Selena Gomez revealed that she can't carry her own children in a vulnerable new interview. I unfortunately have a lot of medical issues that would put my life and the babies in jeopardy, the actress explained in a cover story published on Monday. Gomez, who was diagnosed with lupus in 2013 and got a kidney transplant in 2017, noted that she had not ever said this before publicly. It is not necessarily the way I envisioned it, she continued, of becoming a mom one day. I thought it would happen the way it happens for everyone. However, the star clarified that she's in a much better place with that and that she finds it a blessing that there are wonderful people willing to do surrogacy or adoption, which are both huge possibilities for her. Gomez concluded that at the end of the day, I don't care, it will be mine. It will be my baby. Selena has spoken about her family plans in the past, stating in May that she had always wanted to have kids, even if she was single. You know what, lupus is such a disease that actually like, it affects a lot in women. And I'm just so proud of her that she can come out and tell us her story. And maybe other people can learn from this. Because a lot of people, they turn a blind eye for, through about surrogacy and they turn a blind eye about adoption. And if you can't have the baby, you can't kill yourself. You can still be happy by have, allowing somebody else to carry the baby for you. There's so many possibilities for you to have children. I'm so happy that she's looking at this in a positive light where she's able to be able to have a baby and be happy as a woman and not feel less of a woman because she can also have a baby and take care of the baby on her own. Do you get what I'm saying, guys? So please, if, you have, if, you're, if you're going through anything such as lupus, the, 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 it's not the end. You can still make it. Things are gonna, can still happen for you. You can still have a child if you want to. You can go through surrogacy. Look at Selena Gomez. For her to come out publicly and say this about herself, I kudos to her because I know a lot of people troll and when, they, when you give them something negative about you, they use it against you. So I'm just so happy that Selena Gomez is able to speak her truth and be happy about it. And on to our new collection. 
The cosmetics giant took to social media on Monday to offer a sneak peek of its Mac X and Aaliyah series, which is set to launch this June, declaring Aaliyah lives on in a makeup collection influenced by her groundbreaking work in music and film. The collection will pay homage to the late musical star's influential work and 1990s beauty aesthetic. Images posted to the brand's Instagram page revealed that the series will feature a nine shade eye palette containing sultry plum, ochre and rose hues inspired by one of the singer's music videos a second image unveils a single lipstick in a buttery toffee shade similar inspired by the name of an Aaliyah song both products are encased in sleek burgundy packaging with silver embossing you know what you guys Aaliyah lives on and it's so great that they're going to show homage to her pay homage to her with this collection I'm so excited everybody's actually getting into makeup collection but for Aaliyah I'm so excited. And I'm so excited that her Instagram page is also still active, letting her fans know what she has coming up. R.I.P. Aaliyah, we love you so much and you live long and you live on in our lives. On to our spicy or not, Taylor Swift might not have been on court at the U.S. Open, but she was still serving a timeless look. The pop star held court from the VIP box at Arthur Ashe Stadium with boyfriend Travis Kelsey on Sunday. Sporting a reformation Sora linen dress and crepe eyewear marquee rock sunglasses while watching the men's single finals. While she was in over $30,000 worth of accessories, including a glossy Gucci bag and her diamond studded bracelet, Swift's checkered dress and equally classic sunglasses are actually affordable. You know what guys, affordable fashion is what's in. For someone like Taylor Swift to wear something so affordable, come on guys, I love it. Taylor Swift, kudos to you. More power to you. Enjoy your time with your boyfriend. We love you, Taylor Swift. You can never do any wrong in the eyes, Taylor Swift. Affordable fashion and you look amazing. Don't forget to catch us up at Spice TV underscore Africa.